Hey Cancer, rest, relax, take care of yourself. The Four of Swords is your theme, Cancer, which definitely means taking care of yourself. It's an exhaustion, a recuperation. So recuperating from a situation, several situations. I just feel um, that there was a lot of overwhelming things going on and now you're at a resting point where, I hate to say it, um, I don't want to say you don't give a crap or anything like that because it's not negative. Um, it's more of a, you're just, you don't care right now. Like you're not, you're not vying for somebody's attention. You're not hoping that somebody comes back. You're not changing things up. You're taking time for you. And when I say the, I don't care, it's again, it's not a negative. It's actually very positive in the fact that you're just not focusing your energy on anything that is going to like, just completely suck the life out of you. So the Four of Swords definitely says this month is your month of doing what Cancer wants to do, worrying about what Cancer has going on, not focusing on the past, the future, just kind of living within the now and taking care of you. This includes other things like getting more rest, getting better sleep, um, cutting back on vices, or um, some of you just, I feel like you're just trying to get back on track. You're just trying to feel just feel better, ultimately feel better. Now, it's interesting because you have the shadow card here, okay? And this is very, like, very self, um, self-awareness. This is very much about um, understanding what it is you want, understanding what it is. You're, you're understanding your life and getting a better awareness of yourself, but also aware of what's going on around you. So I like the shadow for you here because, again, this tells me you are focusing on what makes cancer happy? What makes cancer um, feel good? What would, you know, where's my breaking point and have I crossed the limit um, to where I need to do some self-care, some self-meditation, some self-revitalization? The next card you have is your current position coming to the month, which is succinct with this. The Eight of Cups is stagnation. It's not moving forward. It's dissatisfaction. Again, I don't feel a negative connotation here. It's more of, I wasn't happy with the past and how that was going. I haven't figured out quite where I want to go in the future. Um, so I'm taking care of me at the moment. I'm living in the present. Really, that's what it's coming down to, Cancer, is living in the present. The Eight of Cups is stagnation. It's not moving forward. You're not, I feel like some of you have exes that are possibly interested in having something, giving it a go. They reach out to you. It feels sporadic, but they reach out to you and you're just kind of over it all, over everything. Like I said, not in a, I hate life and this is terrible, but in a, it's time for a break. It's time, I don't, why am I worrying about stuff I can't control? Why am I worrying about uh, things that, you know, lower my energy or lower my vibration? Right now, this is you going, I want one cup. I want a fulfilled cup. I want a full cup. I want an abundant cup. I'm not worried about anything. The past, you know, oh no, am I going to meet somebody in the future? This is just cancer being present in the moment and 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 saying, you know what, let's let's take a break from the BS right now. The next card you have is how you're feeling coming into the month. And you have the six of wands, which is pride, achievement, success. success. That is what you really want to see. That is where you want to go. Whatever you're you're going for in the future, you just want to feel good about it. You just want to say, I'm proud to be in this relationship. I am proud at what a great parent I'm, I've am i become and, and have grown. Um, you know, parenting isn't easy. And for whatever reason, they're telling me that some people have been kind of like, oh, I feel like, you know, I can never get it right. Like maybe you have teenagers and you're like, I can't win or, you know, whatever the case may be. You're just, you're growing and you have expanded and you have grown. And right now, you just want to feel good about your accomplishments. You want to just feel good about the blessings that you have, that you already have, and, and how hard you've worked to get here. Yeah, you've been through some shit. And yeah, you've, you know, fallen into the mud a couple of times. But can we just stop and take a breath and go, holy shit, look at this life. And if I cuss and it bothers you, I apologize. I'm not the reader for you. When I get excited or I feel very emotional about something, I do that. I'm not going to apologize. So... You can watch somebody else who does not if that is something that bothers you. I'm just going to say that up front because I do drop some pretty intense words sometimes. Um, but I really feel like this is Cancer saying, can't I just appreciate the now? Can't I just appreciate, look at how far I have come. Like, oh my gosh, look at these kids I'm raising. Look at these fur babies I'm raising. Look at, you know, 
where I've come from. And some of you may be like, well, Dark Dove, I'm not really feeling that right now. I don't, well, look at it then. See things clearly. See things, um, see the blessing in everything. And I feel like this is where Cancer is at. Just the appreciation and the abundance that you have and where you're heading. We know big things are coming for Cancers. We know big things are coming for you. Your cardinal water sign, not that that matters, but there, it's like, it, it's very much um, an energy this year for you guys of big things are coming, big changes, some scary changes. I'm not going to lie. Maybe career changes or finding somebody and actually having a really healthy relationship with them that grows into something spectacular. You get what I'm saying? Taking the high notes and, and being able to, to move forward with them. The next card you have is your distant past. Um, could be the past five, 10 years. Uh, all right, cancer. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to, And this year I've decided not to, which seems to be something that people are realizing that I'm just kind of like, you either like it or you, you don't like it. And sometimes we don't like to hear things that are hard for us to hear. The devil showing up here, A, is Capricorn. So it could be Capricorn. You're dealing with a Capricorn. You have Capricorn in your placement. That could be all it is. But I'm going to tell you what, Cancer. In reality, this is the past five, ten years for you guys that has gone ski wampus in a lot of different ways. It is the devil that is toxic energy, that is addictions, that is vices, that is um, depression, anxiety, mental health issues. Now, I'm not saying this is you guys, but I'm saying these are energies that have been surrounding you or that you've allowed to take place in your life, that you've allowed to take up space in your life that maybe it's just time to say goodbye to. And the reason the universe is bringing this up in the past card is this is saying enough, Cancer. We've done this enough enough repetitive, enough dragging down, enough fighting yourself, enough going against what you believe or you know is good for you. Enough. We're tired. We're resting. We're recuperating. We understand some decisions have been not great. We understand we've let some energies or people or situations take um, control of our lives when they shouldn't have. And the devil showing up here is saying, this is the past. Let the past be the past. Where are you going, Cancer? What's your future looking like? The next card you have is the immediate past over the past few weeks, past month or two, and you have the Fool, which is the beginning of the major, major, beginning of the major, major, new beginning, a new path. This is literally forgetting what past path you were on and taking charge of your life, taking care of you, taking care of cancer. It's interesting this month. These reads for almost every sign have been about progression and moving forward. A lot of times I get reads that are about, oh, this past is coming back. And, and I'm not saying it won't. We, we're still, we got to get through the rest of the read. But the fool is telling me you're ready for big changes. You're ready for a new direction. You're ready for a clean slate, a healthy slate, a recuperated slate. The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next few months, and you have the seven of swords. All right. So Whoever this is you're dealing with comes in and out of your life, I feel like, whenever they can, whenever they feel like. They, they choose and pick. I'm going to reach out to Cancer see how they're doing. I'm going to ignore Cancer and see how they feel about that. I'm going to reach out to Cancer and tell them everything they want to hear. Then I'm going to ignore Cancer. And then I'm going to ghost Cancer. We're tired of this. So you need to figure out this future. You need to figure out where you're going. Right now you're taking a break from it all. But the Seven of Swords is a manipulation. It's a deceit type energy. So here's the, here's the issue. This person is not... Um, they have not decided to call it quits. Whether you to call it quits, whether you, I, you know, I'm a big proponent of don't ghost people. It's rude. Don't whatever. But sometimes you have to do that in order to get your point across. And I feel like whenever this person comes in and they say, "Hey, Cancer, how you doing? I miss you. What are you up to?" You're like, "Hey, how's it going?" You reciprocate. Maybe not this time. Because their energy is coming in as a manipulative energy again. Not coming in as sincere, coming in as more of a fishing as to what is Cancer up to? How are you doing, Cancer? I'm interested in seeing, oh, are you single? Are you not single? What havoc can I wreak this time? Now, again, cross watchers, don't freak out. This can be reversed. Um, but the biggest thing here is there's an unhealthy toxicity between you two. And for whatever reason... And you care about them and you love them and they feel the same about you. But for whatever reason, it's like you close the window 
or the door, but you keep leaving it cracked just a little bit. What happens if you just shut it all the way and you just take care of cancer and then let the future kind of ride out? The next card you have is your immediate future. So throughout the month, you have the Knight of Pentacles, which tells me work, 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 work. You're being very cautious. You're, again, very, there's very much a serenity energy here, as I was saying before. Not, you're not going, well, what the hell am I going to do in the future? And who am I going to date? And what am I up to? And what if I don't meet this person? And I want to have babies, or I want to get married. Or what have babies, or I want to get married. Or what what I missed them. Yes, yeah, sometimes maybe this person is, is on your mind or you're on their mind or maybe they're contacting you or maybe you're contacting them. But in reality, it's not your focus this month. Your focus this month is just being, again, as I've said like three times, my dad said I should be a lawyer because I repeat myself all the time. But literally, this is you saying, I'm working for the greater good of my life, my kids, my family, my fur babies, my career, whatever it is that is a driving force and keeping you afloat and helping you in life, the Knight of Pentacles, that's what you're doing. You, you're a game, dollar dollar bills, taking care of business, whatever it is. You don't have time for the drama. You don't have time for the shadow. You want to, you're assessing yourself. You're not assessing the past. You're not assessing the future. You're just trying to freaking stay afloat and make sure that, you know, you're, that you're being the best that you can be while not buying into the drama or the BS. Now, the next card you have is anything tangible that's going to happen throughout the month. Could be the beginning, middle, end. You and the Knight of Wands. Man, this card has been relentlessly showing up in all my reads. This is energy. This is passion. This is um, moving forward. This is daring. This is somebody who's like breaking barriers. This is somebody who's pushing through. I really feel like Cancer, this is signifying this month, you breaking barriers. You, you breaking barriers. You. I'm persevering and I'm not letting the past drag me down and I'm not letting the future worries get me low either. Worrying about, you know, oh, am I going to have a better career? Yes. I think some of you are, are moving in the, in the progression of where am I going and what type of relationship do I want and where do I see myself in the future? But right here, this is just saying you're not, um, you're not looking back right now. You're moving forward and you're progressing to um, raise your vibration and be successful and be abundant and be and be proud. For a long time, it's been, oh my gosh, I'm dealing with this and that and the other. And you're always like one, one, you know, mess away from a slip up. Does that make sense? You're, you're one, um, you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop or you're always, and I'm talking about in the past, you've always been like, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be bad or we can't get it together or we get back together and we fight or, you know, I'm not happy and it's affecting other parts of my life and you're persevering now. You're going, yeah, it's just, no, I, no, sorry. I don't have time for any of this. I, I only have time to be present in the things and with the people that are important that are matter, that matter in my life that are matter that matter in my life what you want you cancers okay want to love they want to be passionate they want that emotion with somebody they want to feel loved and they want to bestow love on other people that's what you're looking for that's what you're waiting for that's why i said you're not in any rush you're not running around like a chicken with its head cut off you're like hey i'm looking for a cup a cup of fulfillment, one cup, love, good career, kids, fur babies, abundance, whatever it is that you want, you understand it's not moving quick to get there, but you're not forcing it. You don't feel like, yes, you're persevering and yes, you have energy and yes, you're passionate and you want to move forward, but that's the thing. You want to move forward and not backwards. You've repeated this past and this past so many times. Let's get on this uh, new beginning. Let's take this leap of faith. The next card you have is your hopes and fears for the outcome. And you have the Emperor, which is Aries cards. You could have Aries in your chart or you could be dealing with an Aries. Here's the biggest thing. And I said this to another sign um, for this month's readings. They've been very powerfully motivating to move forward. To move forward. 
Reeds have been very specific about not letting the past wreck your style anymore. Sounds weird, I know, but in saying style, I mean, where am I going in life? What do I want? What makes cancer feel good? What makes me feel proud? What makes me feel happy? What makes me feel accomplished? There's been so many readings this month that have been about not being second, second fiddle, not being second best, not, but not being the second option, being the first option. And the emperor, as your hope or fear, will choose you first, will step up to the plate. The emperor is traditional and authoritative, somebody who is not scared when cancer gets a little stressed or emotional, not scared when cancer says, you know, I've had a rough time of it in the past and I really need to know that I can trust somebody and I really need to know that there's um, somebody who can deal with the ups and downs with me and who can be stable and bring stability and also, you know, hold my hand through the hard times. That is what cancer is wanting. That is what cancer is needing. And that is what cancer deserves. The next card you have is your outcome for the month. The next card you have is your outcome for the month. Resurrects itself, cancer, which is interesting because I was saying all the reads and now yours comes in here with the six of cups. The six of cups is a nostalgic energy. It is a past energy. Now, can this person come in as the emperor, possibly. Um, I do feel like some of you are hearing from this person or will be hearing for this, from this person. There will be some sort of communication coming here, Cancer. I'm not going to lie. But you have to decide if it's worth your cup or not. If it's worth taking a new leap of faith with this person or if it's manipulation. Because here's my biggest fear. They come back in with the six of cups. They love you. They miss you. And there's the fucking devil. They love you, they miss you, they they want you. You're still in a vulnerable place, some of you, to where you do miss this person. There's a connection, They, you love them, they love you. The Six of Cups is a reconciliation card. It means getting back together. Um, you guys are in such a place of being able to make a decision to not go back there. However, this connection is so strong that some of you may not heed that. However, it may not last long. Because now you have the devil popping up again, popping up again, your past is showing its head again. Your past is definitely coming back. Uh, communication is coming in. What you do with it though, I think you may have had time to rest and really think about this. I think you guys may recuperate from all the drama and all the chaos before um, that happens. Because here you have the page of swords, which is like, I want the truth. I want the truth and nothing but the truth. I won't deal with your bullshit. So when this past comes in, you're going, oh, really? You 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 really want to be around me? You really want my love and attention? Oh, you are missing me. Oh, okay. Okay. This person understands that you possess the empress, that you possess the love, the attention, the energy, the compassion. You want that back? Oh, you do? Cancer's taking a time out. We're a little tired right now. Cancer's decided to take care of cancer. What are you bringing to the table here? Literally. What is this past person bringing to the table here? Hmm? Because you have the devil card coming out again, which is a toxic energy, a selfish energy, a narcissistic energy, an energy of um, taking care of me and I'll say what I think I need to say to get my foot back in the door, but at the end of the day, I'm still addicted or still... Um, codependent, something going on here. Again, you have the Seven of Swords, which is the manipulation factor. And unfortunately, it feels like this person is, um, is, um, you could be dealing with Capricorn, but you have this Two of Swords here. Very big decision. And it's a decision that must be made. Otherwise, it remains stagnant. Ah, oh, very interesting. You have a lot of fours going on here, too. So maybe you're seeing four, 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 or fours are significant for you because you have four, four, four. You have a lot of repetitive cards too because you have the devil coming in twice. You have the four of swords coming in twice. Now, like I was saying with this two of swords, that is, um, I need to make a decision. I must make a decision on a situation. This isn't going away. Whoever this person is, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're, whether it's a month from now, whether it's six months from now, you're on their mind. You guys are very much connected. Um, 
but I have to say that twin flame type energy is starting to dissipate um, because the there's not a big like there's still the connection here but there's not a big you on your end there's not a big love and need to be with this person right now before it was very heartbreaking and and it was gut-wrenching that we've all been through but you're you're kind of succumbing to I'm taking care of myself this four of swords rest relaxation I don't I don't have the energy I don't have the energy to play this game anymore I don't have the energy to put up with this I just don't but communication is coming in here big time um just be very careful because you have the four of cups too and the four of cups is feeling taken advantage of feeling like you're wasting your time whoever this person is has not invoked the energy of welcoming themselves back in it's almost like they text you wyd what are you doing or hi how you doing just to kind of fish and see what you say instead of coming in with hey i've been a complete idiot i'm going to make big changes and you'll already be able to see the changes unfortunately this person feels like they're coming back in but not a single thing has changed it's the exact same person just um different words to describe what they want or how they're feeling or you know a different maybe maybe this time i'll convince cancer because unfortunately having two devils come up and these four of swords it's saying you need to rest you need to you need to take time out you need to think about this entire situation now will you never get back together with them that's not what i'm saying but right now you have a big decision to make and i feel like it's between it's it's like your heart and your head like you love this person you care about them you know there's a big connection but at the end of the day there's toxicity here they're not good for you now and you know that and that's the hardest part and what's interesting here is you have denial you know i don't know necessarily that we need to get into what denial means because we know but at the same time this is it's not as bad as you think okay denial is yes there are some things that we fear and yes there are there's fears of being alone and never finding anybody else but it's not going through this right now cancer as tough as it can be or as lonely as it can be or sometimes feeling as though you're never going to get on the right path or you're never going to find the right person or whatnot it's not as scary as you think especially if you really think you want to go back to that so cancer very emotional because this person genuinely has feelings for you and they genuinely care about you but how they treat you or how they take care of your emotions or your feelings when they're with you it's it's not good enough right now therefore you're taking care of yourself because you need some self-love right now all right i will see you guys soon bye